Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins with Mosaic Technology. Today we're going over the general tab of the Divi theme options and I want to talk to you about how to format the date for your website. Now let's go over to our testing website really quick, quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. You'll notice that on the website it has the date of the blog post. It's an abbreviated month, August 15th, 2016. Now you can, within the Divi theme options, change that format to have the full month. Um, you can pretty much make it display the date however you want to. And it's actually very simple. So let's come back into our Divi theme options and we scroll down and I'll show you where this happens. Okay, there's this field here called date format. And you'll notice it's just got kind of some letters in there. And this is this shows you how it's displayed. We've got a capital M, a small j, a comma, and then an uppercase y. Now, where they get these dates from is um, WordPress has a codex and I'm, I believe it's a, the exact same formatting you use for coding in PHP and this is how it kind of translates and grabs the date and puts it in a specific format and there's a cheat sheet for this on the WordPress website which I've got right here and uh, there'll be a link to this in the description of this video in case you want to take a look at it so here it has a, a nice example for us it shows you know Friday, September 24th, 2004. And this is how it would be formatted in that Divi, in those Divi themes. So I'm just gonna copy this really quick to show you how it works in real life. So let's come back here to our date format. We'll paste that in there and I'll hit save changes. So now when I refresh the web page, you can see that our date format has changed to what, what I've specify as the day that it was posted, the full month, the date, and then the year. And feel free to play around with this so that you can figure out how you want your date displayed. And if you want some more help with that, um, in this on this page it actually walks you through what each letter represents. So a, a lowercase d is going to show us the number day with a leading zero. So if it's the first of the month, it's going to have a zero one. one. And if I don't want the leading zero, that's with the lowercase j. That gives me the date 1 through 31 without that. Um, this capital S actually puts in um, the suffix. And I can show you that really quick if you'd like to see it. I could come back here right after the j, put my cursor there, and put a capital S. And then when I come in to save changes, when we go to our front website, you'll see that it's gonna add a little TH to the end of the August 15th there. Just a little something to kind of dress it up. But it also shows you just how many options that you have with your date formatting on the website. See there you have August 15th instead of just the 15th. And I'm not going to go through all of these. Again, the link is going to be in the description of the video. So you can go here and take a look and see what, how you want to format it. And they have some more examples here at the bottom of the page. So that if you wanted to just do, um, you know, year, month, day, or day, month, year, like would be normally displayed, um, it's got examples of everything that you need right there. And again, that link is going to be included in the description of the video. Once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins. Thank you so much for watching.